Every year, millions of people rely on this simple yet vital medical procedure to save their lives. Yes, we are talking about endoscopy. This is how doctors use a flexible tube with a camera to look inside your body without surgery. It is quick, non-invasive and incredibly effective. From diagnosing stomach issues to detecting cancer early, this instrument has revolutionized healthcare. But here's something you probably didn't know. This technology, now used in almost every hospital around the globe, has its roots in something far more surprising. This is the astonishing story of how modern medical technology was shaped by a street performing art born in ancient India. Sword swallowing. Yes, you heard that right. Sword swallowing is an ancient practice that originated in India centuries ago. Practiced by mystics and holy men, this dangerous skill was viewed as a test of spiritual discipline and physical mastery. By mastering the ability to control their gag reflex and manipulate their bodies, these performers could slide a sharp blade down their throats and pull it out unharmed. It spread from India to Greece and ancient Rome, through China, Japan and the Middle East, before finally making its way to Europe, where it became a sensation in travelling circuses and street shows. One of the pioneers who popularized Indian performance arts in Europe was Ramo Sami, likely short for Ramaswami. Born in India around 1791, he was a magician and juggler who dazzled audiences across Europe and the US for 35 years. He's considered the first modern professional juggler and became a sensation, inspiring countless performers, including sword swallowers. In fact, Indian performers gained such fame that Western magicians began imitating them, darkening their faces and pretending to be Indian performers in sold-out shows. Meanwhile, in the 19th century, doctors were grappling with a critical challenge. How to see inside the living human body without surgery? They needed a way to look deep into the esophagus and stomach. The development of early prototypes dates back to ancient Greek and Roman times. In 1805, Philip Bozzini created the first successful instrument to examine internal organs, which he called the Lichtleiter. However, the technique gained attention in 1822 with William Beaumont's work. By 1853, Antoine Jean Desomo coined the term endoscope after developing a device to inspect the urinary tract and bladder. The challenge of effectively visualizing the esophagus and stomach for diagnostic purposes remained. Then, in 1868, in the small German town of Freiburg, the solution came in the most unexpected way. While performing in Freiburg in 1868, a professional sword swallower known as Iron Henry caught the attention of a German physician, Dr. Adolf Kussmaul. Kussmaul had long been grappling with finding a safe way to look inside the human body. He was captivated by the hyper-extended neck position Iron Henry used and his ability to pass swords down his throat without harm. Believing this could be key to designing a medical instrument, Kusmol consulted with a local instrument maker and developed 47 cm long straight tube equipped with mirrors and an external gasoline lamp for light reflected via mirrors. Ian Henry willingly offered himself as a subject for Dr. Kusmol's experiments, fully aware of the serious risks involved. And it worked. Kusmol carefully passed the scope down Ian Henry's throat, all the way to his stomach. For the first time, a physician could view the inside of the stomach of a living human body without surgery. This was a groundbreaking moment in medical history. Although the light was dim and the view limited, Kusmol knew he was onto something big. This procedure, the first successful esophagoscopy, would revolutionize how doctors diagnose and treat patients today. Dr. Kosmol is credited with inventing the first rigid endoscope. 
but without the ancient art of sword swallowing and without Iron Henry, this breakthrough might never have happened. Today, sword swallowing is a dying art, but it's essential to remember that it's not magic or illusion. Performers use intense mind over matter techniques to suppress natural reflexes, to swallow solid steel blades up to 30 inches long. With fewer than a few dozen full-time sword swallowers left around the world, we owe a debt of gratitude to this ancient practice from India and the performers who helped shape the modern miracle of endoscopy, saving lives, including those of our loved ones. If you enjoyed this, hit subscribe and turn on notifications for more deep dives into stories that matter.